Hello everyone, welcome. In this new series, I will try to model these design sketches or concept designs. These are really important when it comes to industrial and automotive designs. And my first aim will be to get a perfect smoothness out of my object. And this is the result of the first tutorial. And I believe the original designer is Giorgio. There are a bunch of these here. In this process, I will show you how I do that with these deformers. Here are sheet of the connect objects and FFTs smoothing deformers. All of that. So let's get started. Before starting the tutorial, I will put that image around here so you can see what I will try to model. By the way, it's called Purev if you want to use. The first thing when I look at the shape, I see that the best option for me to start with is a sapphire. But topology is not that good, so I need to change it to hexahedron. But there is gonna be a problem if I subdivide that. It's not gonna be a perfect sapphire. Because not every polygon has the same size. To change that, I use that trick. Copy that one. I will rename that to ref. Hide that one. I will change its type to standard and increase the segments. So it's kind of a perfect sapphire. Then I will hide that. Unhide that one. Press shift. Add a smoothing deformer. After smoothing deformer, I will create another deformer. It's called shrink wrap. Put it after smoothing deformer and put that wrap in that target object. So if I turn on and off that smoothing, you will see the effect. And if I subdivide that, I will get a perfect sapphire. Now I will make that editable. Right click, current state the object. I will put that out of that group and delete that one. Alright, that one. You can either delete them or keep them in your layout. Maybe you can use them later. Like you can put them into any layer. Go to layer and say that I don't want to see them in my outline. And maybe in my render. So we need we will need also another thing. This center lines. This mesh has to have these central lines but in that case mine hasn't has these so if i enable these objects one more time delete that one and turn off this object i will increase my segments to something like 14 so i will get these edges now my right click say kind of state object hide that layer and unhide but I need to take this out of that group, so remove from layer, layer, and height. So this is one of the benefits of using layer system. Now I will delete these sides so I can use symmetry. Press Alt, select symmetry one more time. So now I will select these two polygons, go to front view and extrude them like that. Then I can move these points down and scale these polygons to zero. So they are going to be perfectly flat. Now let's go to front view, switch points mode. And move these points to get a similar result to that one. It doesn't have to be perfect because we will use another deformers. For now, it's going to be enough. Now I will like these polygons and make an extrude inner. But if I do that like that, you will see that I will get these center polygons because of that symmetry. But it is easy to solve. Just select these symmetries and enable these options. Let's do that one more time. 
yes like this i will slide these ones Now I can extrude this like that. Actually, let me before make an extrude inner, then move them slightly, then press Ctrl and extrude. After that, I will set my Z axis position to zero because they are facing the Z. Then I'm gonna set the Z size to zero and delete them. Also, I can select these ones, switch the scale tool, change my modeling axis to the center of these polygons. I think I shouldn't select these ones. Yes. Now I will scale them like that. And the last network it here, and then X retainer. I want to move them like that. To do that, I will change my modeling axis to normal. Make an X retainer. Now let's put that symmetric group under a subdivision surface. So first thing I will need supporting edges for these sharp edges, like these ones. Same here. Now let's put that symmetric group under a connect object. Press Alt, select connect. I can turn off felt and change my fong mode to highest. So I get to get rid of these fong angle normal issues. Then I will press Shift and add an FFT deformer. Go to top view. I will increase these grid counts to 8, maybe. Then I am gonna move the points of that FFT to get a similar result like that. Also, let's not forget to set these axes. Scale that inside hole like that. Yeah, not bad. I will turn off the visibility of that FFT because I will use another one. As you can see, that shape at the very top is bigger in our reference image, but not in our real model. To fix that, I will make another connect object, selected connect object, press Alt, select connect object. I can turn these off. Press Shift, add a new FFT deformer. This time let's make it 10. And I'm going to select these ones and scale them like this. Something like that will be enough. Let's do the same thing here. Now I will hide that FFT because I will create another one. I will create another connect object over that connect object. Turn off valves, make it the highest, shifts and FFT. This time I will not change any points because I will roughly shape my object. Like, can move these like that. Maybe I can move these like that. I don't know. Okay, I can turn that off in the viewport. Go to my mesh and I can. Move this slightly.
Also, I want to add another deformer to get a better smoothness. It's called smoothing deformer. I will put it over my FFT. First of all, it's going to be too much, so I need to decrease that. Like 5 or 7, 6. It's going to give a slight smoothness. But remember that when you do that, your edges will be smoother. So I can go to my first object and get these edges to closer to each other. Let's turn this on. Yes, much better. And I can increase my side vision editor too. Now let's make this more interesting. Let's apply that material. Go to color. I will select Fresnel. Invert. And I can make it something like that. Other reflectance. Let's the GGX with a Fresnel. Like a plastic. Let's add a camera and change rotation, maybe. All right, guys, I think it's going to be enough. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next tutorials. Bye.